guys and happy vlogmas uh oh it begins it's that time of the year so if you missed our announcement we are going to do vlogmas a tad different this year we're going to do pretty much daily vlogging but we're only going to put it out once a week so we're going to make sort of our weekly vlogging format for vlogmas where it runs sort of from friday to friday and then comes out on monday so the first one which you're watching now comes out december 3rd and then they'll come out each week on monday from here on out um so Number, the first thing we're doing, which is why we're starting sort of a week before December, is we're going to put up the Christmas tree. This is going to go in this spot right here. Yeah, this big empty corner here. The massive tree is done. This takes a long time to decorate, mostly because a lot of these ornaments are collectible, so I put them in boxes and that takes a while, but it is done. Oh. <laughs> Already time for some copyright music. <laughs> but you're not doing her little actions. Oh yeah. <laughs> Too funny. Here's our other sort of peanuts themed tree. Most of the decorations are peanuts based. And unfortunately we can't find the star. I don't know if it broke last year and we threw it away. We don't remember. So we're gonna have to buy a star for this tree. Brian is doing one of his holiday traditions and making Chex Mix. He's actually making a gluten-free version so I can eat some too, which is very sweet. So everything you see here is gluten-free. The crackers, the bagel chips, everything. Well, there's no bagel chips. Oh, we ran, we ran out. out. The oh, pretzels oops. though, the pretzels. Nice. We're having lobster tails today for lunch and Brian said to give this pro tip. Pro tip. Stick the sticks in it keeps them from curling up. So Otherwise they, it'll just curl up on itself. And these are just coffee stirs. That's all they are. Yep. Yum. Let's get it going in the boiling water. We were talking about how funny it is how the shells turn that bright color almost as soon as they hit the water. And you can tell they're trying to curl up because they keep moving but they can't because of the sticks. There's the finished product. Yum. Hey guys, it's Monday. Um, so this is still in November. Like I said, we're going to start a week early and then put it out the first week in December. So we're on Monday. So this is the Monday after Thanksgiving weekend. Um, as you saw, we got all our decorations done and I'll, I'll show some of those ornaments as we go through uh, Vlogmas. But I wanted to share with you something that we get to enjoy outside our kitchen window every November, December time frame. As you can see, right outside our kitchen window, we've got all these pumpkins out in the woods behind our house. Now, those woods are not our property. Those are technically, I think it's owned by the HOA. Um, it buffers between us and some natural land. But it's not from my neighbors over there that, where you would think it would be from. They're actually from these neighbors that are way up, sort of diagonal. They're, they're, they're definitely not touching that land. And they bring their pumpkins down here every year and dump them. And so they sit there forever. It takes them a really long time to decay. So we get pumpkins all the way through Christmas usually and well into the winter time in our backyard. We normally have the monorail around our beach house Christmas tree. But this year, since we're not going to be spending as much time at the beach house, we are still going back again this month, hopefully. But we're not going to be there as long as we usually are around Christmas. We decided to bring it home um, and have it so we could enjoy it here. So we've got it here with our large tree. And if you've missed previous years where we've shown it at the beach house, it, it talks. And it also, I can figure out how, we'll go around the track. Here we go. I love the little lights on the front. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. Sorry I skipped yesterday. I just had so much to do. And today has actually been crazy busy too. It's one of those busy weeks. I guess the week after four day weekend for Thanksgiving, um, I guess everyone's trying to get stuff done. It's just been really, really busy. 
Um, we did get a special delivery yesterday from Hallmark. Um, if you guys remember from previous years, we have this cute little peanut set that does lights and sound and all that good stuff. And so they have another set, totally different, but that you can actually put on your tree, but it's they're connected. So we don't have all of them yet because they release a few at a time or one at a time but we've got some of them but i don't think we'll get around to showing those until next week's vlog um because i just don't think this week we're even gonna have time to unpack them um before friday and f this friday we are actually going to charlotte for the weekend we're going to carowinds for winterfest we're going to see uh brian's family and so um, that's going to be a super busy weekend as well, but we should be back in time to hopefully get those unpacked at some point this weekend. Also, today was unseasonably cold um, here. Unseasonably cold. It was 20s when I went to work this morning, and I think it barely got out of the 30s for the high today, and it was windy. That's what really did it was the wind. It made it super cold. And they even in Florida, so it seems really widespread because we're up in North Carolina, even in Florida, they closed Typhoon Lagoon and they closed the dinner show at the Polynesian. Um, so it must be cold everywhere. Um, but it's cold here today for sure. Uh, it's bright and sunny, so no snow, but this is a day we could have possibly gotten snow if, if it actually rained. By this weekend though, it looks like it's warming back up to more normal temperatures, like a high of 60. So that'll be nice. They'll feel warm after this. Thought I'd do a more slow motion tour of our tree here. Um, I'm going to show some of the decorations sort of individually, but um, I'm not going to show the back of the tree because I actually weight the back of the tree down to keep it from tipping over with ornaments that are just either heavier or old or whatever, just a variety. But um, anyway, and that Lumiere lights up, which is really cool. Um, they're the ones I really treasure, I guess, are on the front. <laughs> so there's one part. And now I've moved to the other side. Um, this one right here we got this year. It's a limited edition 3000 Snow White. And I did hear it's, it's in Germany Pavilion at Epcot. I did hear they replaced it with one with Mickey and Minnie now. So I'm glad we got that one because don't get me wrong. I love Minnie and Mickey, but I love Snow White. Sort of got a Jack theme going on here, a little Sleeping Beauty. There's our um, food and wine from a couple of years ago. Jimmy down there. And like I said, I'll go over some of these in more detail, but I just thought I'd do a quick pass. And a lot of these, well, I should say a lot, several play music or have sounds, and I'll do that as well. That was one of the first Disney ornaments we got right there with Minnie and Mickey next to Kirk there. Got Pinocchio. Cinderella. And sadly, this communicator from Star Trek has stopped working properly. It kind of makes a little noise, but not much noise anymore. Um, it's really old. We've had this probably 10 or more years, maybe even longer than that. Hey guys, it is Thursday, also known as Friday Eve. And I just popped on to say goodbye and sign off for the first Vlogmas of the season because we are going to Charlotte tomorrow, so I need to pack. And I still have to work tomorrow before that, so i got a lot to do. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this weekly Vlogmas format. Um, definitely leave us a comment below, you know, if you like this format or not. Um, this year we just don't have the bandwidth to do daily, but I hope you like this. I hope it's good. And um, we will continue this on next week. We're actually going to break Winterfest at Carowinds into its own video, so that won't be part of Vlogmas specifically. And then we'll still have a weekly Vlogmas for next week, and we're really looking forward to filming that. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Until our next adventure! I think this tree kind of reminds me of the one at Magic Kingdom. Hmm.